Hello again, everybody. Jim Hickey here. Um, getting my face off the, the camera today and, and going back to a screen capture video. Uh, wanted to kind of pick up on something that I had covered in one of my blog posts not too long ago, uh, where I did kind of a quick overview of some uh, search engine results that I had that were very encouraging. I picked some phrases and I was able to get up on the front page of Google. Uh, right at the top of the first page of Google really quickly. Uh, that didn't last long for most of those things. I do happen to have a couple of keyword phrases that are out there that still perform for me and deliver you know a few hits to my blog every day. So that's pretty cool. But um, in order to do so, uh, and of course this isn't going to cover any, the, everything you want to know about SEO. I mean that is a very detailed subject. But one of the key elements of SEO is of course keywords and things like keyword density you know you want your density to be uh, probably under 20 percent I think is the rule is probably optimum throughout your page and you want appropriate keyword placement in your titles and your your meta title tags and things like that um, but in order to do that you have got to have an idea of you know what keywords are out there what keywords are being searched how competitive are they because you can have some darn good keywords that are highly competitive and you know you're going to be on page you know 10,000 out of whatever um, <clears throat> so as you're doing your research of course you're going to want to make use of certain keyword tools and I'm going to show you a couple of different examples here uh, one is the free keyword tool at keywordtracker.com and the other one is the keyword tool that's uh, basically supplied as part of the Google AdWords campaign uh, you can import that stuff directly into AdWords. That's not what I use it for. I don't, I'm not doing anything with pay-per-click at this point. Um, but, you know, each tool has its own attributes. The Keyword Tracker was the first one I was introduced to. I used that for a while. Uh, then I was introduced to uh, the Google free uh, keyword tool. And I found it to be much more useful. Uh, even in its default setting, it gives a lot more useful information than... Uh, the keyword tracker tool does and uh, once you know how to open it up you can get even more information and I'll show you a little bit about that today so let's see <clears throat> for the free keyword tracker tool let's just put, put in here free keyword if I could only spell that it help oh, I should do it free keyword tracker and lo and behold whoops Got to get this in my viewing window. You know, when Google opens this up, number one position, first page, is exactly what we're looking for. So we'll open this up. Here is the free keyword suggestion tool. Um, they do have a paid su subscription that is, I guess, gives a lot more detailed information. I've never used it. Can't really speak about it. Um, at this point in time, I'd prefer free if at all possible. But anyways, the search I'm going to do uh, here and using these two tools is going to be something that I've done in several of my uh, blog posts when I'm talking about my internet message delivering s delivery system. So, you know, one of the examples I've given is bass fishing and certain things relative to that. So I'm going to type in a short keyword phrase, bass fishing. Click the hit me button on the word tracker keyword tool and up pops okay, a number of selections they're ranked by the number of searches that are done on those keywords across uh, different search engines I guess um, gives you the top 100 out of what 1300 searches it says there so you can look through this and see what terms might be of interest but it just gives you that relative search ranking and it's okay I mean it seemed to work when I was using it in a couple of instances, I was able to pick out some good keywords, and when I kept the density right in some early hub pages that I was doing, um, I got some pretty good results there, too. So, you know, it works, but once I was introduced to this other tool, which is the Google tool, and we'll come over to here, and I'm just going to type in Google free keywords, and up pops the uh, free Google, whoops, no. Nope. This is the one I want, I think. The Google AdWords keyword tool. Click on that. And cool, here we go. Now, normally, when you first open this, 
um, it gives you the little box to enter your keyword or your keyword phrase. But it'll also give you one of those um, authenticity uh, type of code things. You know, those kind of jumbly words that you got to enter the, the letters in to make sure you're not a robot of some sort or you know, some sort of computer program coming in to try to dominate this program. I was just in this a few moments ago, so it still thinks I've been had it active and it didn't go back to its original state. But normally you'd have to en enter that as well. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the same term, bass fishing. Loved bass fish. Enter the get my keyword ideas. And once Google finishes, it will do its thing. And you're going to notice that it's a little bit different. I mean, uh, first of all, well, we had a few hundred hits. Well, let's look back. 383 hits for bass fishing in the word tracker tool. Google, and this is relative to Google itself, is showing you that in the month of December alone, there were 368,000 searches on the terms bass fishing. Now that could be, in a broad sense, you know, larger keyword phrases that people entered into the Google search engine, uh, but bass fishing were two of the words. Now you can get a more specific look it, you know, whether it was bass, uh, bass fishing specifically, in other words, that exact phrase, by coming over here to this little box and refine our search. We can get it down to the phrase uh, specifically, or words within, the, excuse me, they're put together in a phrase in an overall search, or you can get that exact search. So if we click on the exact, you'll notice for one thing, there are only just under 50,000. Um, so it's, it kind of gives you a better sense of how it is. So there were 49,500 searches in December, which also is the average for the year, specifically for somebody looking for bass fishing, not black bass fishing or bass fishing lures or something like that where bass fishing happens to come together, or uh, largemouth bass, uh, spinnerbait fishing, uh, which it's another way that bass fishing can come out of that in the broad sense. So, again, it's going to depend on um, what you're looking for and things you have to keep in mind when you're when you're doing the search. But you can get, like I said, s some more detailed information here. The other thing you get, really cool, this little bar here, that little graphic depiction, shows you the competition for that keyword. Okay, when it's gray, completely gray. It means it's a highly competitive word. It's being used by a lot of people, or a high, highly competitive phrase. Uh, what you'd really want to get is something that doesn't have a lot there necessarily, something that's mostly clear. This is what, at about 25% free bass fishing games. Um, what I look for is pro bass fishing, well, not pro bass fishing games specifically, but when it's got a white bar, it's not that heavily competed for. Uh, there were 320 searches in December, 170 over the year as a whole. Okay, So pretty cool information. You're, you're already seeing here that you can get some more detailed information from the Google AdWords keyword tool as opposed to the Word Tracker, though I think the Word Tracker probably also includes some other things. Okay, one other thing I want to show you, for those of you interested in doing pay-per-click, but you probably already know this, this shows you the default columns. These are the default columns it shows when you bring it up. There are more columns that it's hiding. And if you go open this little box here, choose columns to display, come down to show all, open that up, you're going to get even more information. If you're interested in doing pay-per-click, it'll actually show you something about the pos ad position you can expect, what the cost per click is, okay, again, your uh, advertising competition, how that search has gone over the course of the year. Of course, bass fishing is highest in July. Isn't that a big uh, uh, surprise? Not to me at all. But at any rate, you can see the difference between these tools. I hope you find them useful. Um, that's it for now. We'll talk to you later. Have a good one.